Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? I hope it is finding you well. It's Tuesday, and I'll tell you, I'm hearing music somewhere, and I don't know where. One second. It's my youngest phone ringing. I will let it ring. Um, Good morning to you all. Uh, Let me do what I always do. Um, That's like myself. I'm going to... It's your entrance music. Can you guys hear it? Um, Because I'll go... uh, I think it's the their um, like gentle waking up alarm. I think those are really neat. Where they start off, it's very calming to wake you up in the morning. I'm going to have to turn it off. But let me get this posted here so people know that we're live. And let me go ahead and do uh, this on threads. We're doing it in the Twixverse and in the Threadosphere. So we have got those done. Uh, One moment, guys. Let me go um, do something with this phone. Talks amongst yourselves. Well, that was handled fairly quickly. So, excellent. Let's go over to uh, Twix here real quick and uh, turn it on to emote only off. So that if anybody wants to talk there, they can. So, I think we've got... Oh, okie doke. Let me see if I can think of a poll. This is, I always forget to do this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> um, because I know, I know absolutely what will not win. I like this mythical creature best. Um, Pegasus. Um, now, all, now, all the mythical creatures that were in my mind totally have... Uh, left my brain. What are some mythical creatures here? What do they have? Hmm. So we're going to put Pegasus, Jackalope, Unicorn and Bigfoot. Instead of Pegasus, I'm going to change that to um, um, is the um, the Abominable Snowman. Is that also called Yeti? Is that also a Yeti? Um, am I correct in, in that? Because I'll put that down. Uh, 
Okay, yes. So those, whoops, those are going to be the three. We're going to do Yeti, Jackalope, Unicorn, or Bigfoot. Oh, no, not Bigfoot. We're going to put Loch Ness Monster. Even though they might not be mythical, um, I like this. I'll just put Creature. Because they might be mythical. They might not. I don't know. So I like this. Um, so I'm going to ch I'm ch I've kind of changed them around. So I've, I've messed everybody up. So I like this creature best. Yeti, Jackalope, Unicorn, or the Loch Ness Monster. So those are your, your uh, selections today. So, um, apologize for messing y'all up there, but, uh, that is it. So let's go and, uh, I did everything. Let me make sure I did everything. You know, I did forget one thing. So I'll just chat here a bit, um, while I do it fairly quickly. It won't take me that long to do. Um, I got to tell my family that I'm, I'm here so that they will, uh, maybe come by and say hi. So, uh, let's see. Well, I thought it wouldn't take me that long, but apparently, whoops, there we go. You heard myself. I heard myself. Um, let me just share this real quick with them. Take me all two. As the saying we say here, it won't take me long. It'll just take me two shakes of a lamb's tail to get this done. So here we go. We have that. And I have one more to do. We have that. And, um, oh, I got someone tell me I have a package in the U.S. United States Post Office Warehouse. Well, you know what? I know you're full of crap, so we're going to just delete you. I hate those things. They're so stupid. Okay, now, good morning, dead man. How are you today? I am doing well. I hope you have a great day at work. We have Sci-Fi Mommy. Good morning to you. We have Siri Bot and Stream Elements over on Twitch helping me out there. We have Richmond Auto Exchange, Metalorian. How are you doing today? We have Stunning and Brave Megatron entering on cue when the music played. Good morning to you, Snorter Pupus Cuber. Hello, humans and other critters. How are you doing today? I hope you are well. We have Mr. Angel. Hello to you. Hello, hello. Um, oh, uh, my kid's alarm was playing in the background and it was this beautiful little angelic kind of music and, uh, I could hear it, but I didn't know if anyone else could. So I turned it off because it was starting to get louder and louder. It was one of those easing you into your work, into your day kind of alarms. Um, you have really wacky phone reception today. Well, uh, watch when you can. And Stunning says, my alarm just yells at me, calling me an asshole till I wake up. <laughs> Hello, DJ Play Nice. So glad to see you here. Um, and we have a bunch of hellos, hellos, hellos. Do a poll on polls. I did have a poll I was going to do today, and I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> if I see one of these is like um just really dominating, maybe I'll I'll do it. It's more of a question poll about the stream. Um maybe I'll put it on Twitter. So we have So you had Dragon Phoenix, Bigfoot, and Pegasus. Those were his choices. Not that you creature. <laughs> oh. Werewolf. Oh, werewolf would have been a good one. Uh, yes, unicorns, zombies, ghosts, leprechauns, chicabra, vampires, necromancers, pegasus, witches. Yeah, there's so many things. Uh, studying women. <laughs> uh, 
And we have DJ Ronnie G. Hello to you. Hello, hello. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, no mythical ones. Not the, uh, the stuff of legends. <laughs> Polar bears are not mythical. They're we are merely legendary. Well, there's one polar bear for sure that's legendary, and he's in my chat. Harry and the Hendersons. I loved Harry and the Hendersons. I think it's a great movie. Um, a snipe. Yes. Have you have you ever been sent on a snipe hunt? Uh, hey, there's, he says, Tim here already. I think he meant 10 on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, and hit the like. He's doing this on his uh, voice to text. So I have learned to uh, um, uh, decipher what he says. It's like, hey, 10 here already on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it out. Um angelic music you swear it wasn't uh wasn't you werewolf there wolf <laughs> unicorns are hated by other horses i hear they really tell corny jokes <laughs> oh well i am so glad that you are all here today it is 12 minutes into the show uh 10 12 and my i want to say 9 12 um, um, ten, well, that's why I took out, uh, mythical because, um, I said, because I said, we don't know for sure, do we? Uh, because Mr. Angel says, wait a moment, you are thinking Nessie, Nessie is a myth. She will not be happy to hear that after trying to gain a career as a fashion model. <laughs> That's why I changed it to creatures. So, yes. Everybody, uh, Children's Hospital of Orange County is having a big fundraiser. Team Park Streamers is trying to raise $5,000. If you would like to help them out, you can go to chalkwalk.org and backslash park streamers. If you've already donated, can't donate, and still would like to help, if you could uh, tweet out uh, Discord, any social media you have, uh, the link to send people over there to check out this. That would be wonderful. Also, my build stream. Whoops. I got to remember how to um, change this. Here we go. My build stream. I will be doing uh, the stream on Thursday. I, I, I did four hours on Monday and I got the bottom done. Last night on Dadman's um, um, chill, uh, chilling. Went for late night with friends. I did a little more and I got, let's see if I can put that. Wait, let me see if I can, I'm trying to go over there. This right here, that, that little, that, that right there, that waterfall, that's all I got done. So, um, I might be doing a stream either later today or tomorrow uh, imp uh, impromptu to build a little more of this because it is involved. I'm loving it. It's beautiful, but boy, is it involved. It's not difficult, just a lot to do on it. So I might be doing an impromptu stream either today or tomorrow uh, for that. So, ba -ba -ba. there we go. So, uh, let me, oh, I got, I cannot find my stupid cursor. There we go. Well, today's Tuesday. Tuesdays are, uh, just, uh, they're hard days, I think, because there's not, I consider it kind of like a second Monday. You know how hobbits have second breakfasts? I have second Mondays. Oh, goodness. 
Well, Mr. Angel, uh, when you take new medicine and it messes you up, it just makes you tired. I'm just glad you're getting getting it figured out because that can be really, really difficult. So I'm just glad you're back. <laughs> it reminds you of the wild some fortnight and you're getting flashbacks of those. <laughs> oh, goodness, stunning. Uh, Dad might apologize as if he misses anyone. Uh, but hit like, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Yes, you should turn your pings off when you sleep. The pings at four in the morning got kicked me out of bed. Dang it. I really should. Yes, you need to. I do. I also, I turn my notifications and everything off. And on my phone, um, I put on do not disturb. And the only people that I select can actually get through after 9 o'clock till um, 9 in the morning. So, um, I, I have started to sleep much better. Tuesday is an unnecessary, unnecessary sequel to Monday. Yes. Tuesdays are just always been blah kind of days for me. I don't, I don't uh, know why, but they just are. So, okie doke. I have no more words to come out. Let's see what the uh, the uh, poll is saying here. I'm sure unicorns are in the lead because unicorns are the best. <laughs> Actually, unicorns are second. Loch Ness monsters first. Unicorns are second. Jackalope and Yeti are third. Why is that the twirling there? There, it seems to be fine now. Let's check this out. Okay. I went over to check the poll and it was spinning like something was wrong. Oh, you better buy her some flowers and cook her favorite dish day to make up to her if I want to sleep in my bed tonight. <laughs> Yay! Go Loch Ness! We actually have a a uh, 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 Twitch streamer uh, who uh, goes by Ness. She's a, a Loch Ness monster, Nessie. Sweet, sweet. Sweet kid. Enjoy watching that. I hate saying kid. Sweet young lady. Love watching her shows. So um, it is 18 minutes past the hour. 10, 18 in my neck. And what's it? Hello, Penny. How are you doing today? Um, Make sure to participate in the poll. And um, it is time for birthdays. Birthdays, birthdays. Let's. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So it is birthday time. Happy birthday, everyone, today, if you have a birthday. And here we go to celebrate our birthdays for today. Why didn't it work? Uh, our first birthday is Little Nas X, American rapper, singer, and songwriter. He rose to prominence with the release of his country rap single, Old Town Road. This is the longest number one Longest running number one song at 19 weeks since the U.S. Billboard Hot 100's 1958 inception. At the same time, Lil Nas X came out as gay, becoming the only artist to do so while having a number one record. Lil Nas X has received numerous accolades, including two Grammy Awards, five Billboard Music Awards, five MTV Video Music Awards, two BET Hip Hop Awards, two iHeartRadio Music Awards, two American Music Awards. Old Town Road ranks as the second highest certified song in the United States with 17 platinum certifications. He became the youngest honoree in the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2022 upon, re upon receiving the Hall of David Starlight Award in May of that year. Little Nass, happy birthday, 25 years old, did all of that before his 25th birthday, everybody. Oh, yes, I do. I'm going, I'm going to take this off because I got to say this. I want to say this, everybody. Um, yes, today is my youngest 
Aang's fifth Twitch anniversary. So, um, yes, it was. It's so cool. Uh, five years on Twitch, uh, and it was very interesting the way we found out that uh, they were streaming. Um, one day, the young man came to me and said, "Hey, mom." I need my uh, social security number. And I'm like, why do you need your social security number? And they said, well, because I need to get a 1099. I'm like, oh, where are you getting a 1099 from? And they go, well, because I am st I stream and, and from Twitch, I need to get a 1099. And I'm like, what do you stream? Because, you know, there's some interesting stuff that you can stream and make money. And... um I said, I want to see your channel. And they at first were like, no, I don't want you to. And that was more like a, you know, a, a teenager not wanting your mom to see. But I didn't know that at the time. It was, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what is my kid doing? Um, and I was really nervous. And uh, then they let me uh, see the stream and they did uh, art, um, art streams and uh, video games. And I went, oh, okay, that's cool. And so that's how we learned that uh, our our kid was streaming. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So congratulations, Ang, for five years uh, on Twitch. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful celebration later this evening. I hope you have a great, great time. I'm going to actually see if I can find this his Twitch page um, for you guys to um, let's see. Let me look here. I know they're not streaming right now, but let me see if I can. I can't quite remember the I think I know the I don't want to put the wrong one down because that would be horrible to do. Well, golly gee, I didn't know I had that many people. I can see who, um, it was probably was one of the first ones and I missed it. And so I'm looking, yep. <laughs> well, silly, where are you? Well. I'm going to send to put my kids Twitch channel up. So I'm going to go over there and uh, support them. You're more than welcome to. There it is. I think mine uh, doing it my way, they can actually link over to it. So, um, yeah, go over there, check, uh, check it out, support them. That would be fantastic. Uh, they do really, uh, I'm so, I'm so proud of them. What he does is just absolutely, um, I'm just very impressed, very impressed. Um, and uh, figured it all out themselves. Which, wow. So, okie doke. Well, we have 12 viewers now. We have 11 on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much for that. How many likes we have? We got to see if our likes are even. I should have at least, we only have six likes. People, hit that like button. Those numbers. Uh, we have 12 watching now. Thank you. I think that's me popping over here. Let's check out the poll here real quick. Uh, ooh, Unicorn and Loch Ness Monster are tied for first place, everybody. Um, 
There's jackalopes and yetis are in second tied. So this is going to be a very interesting uh, poll, I think. Um, now, why does it do that? Okay, so we are now going to continue with our birthday celebration. I meant to do that earlier, but like I say, it's Tuesday. And on Tuesday, my brain doesn't work. And it's like so, oh, uh, oh, well. So happy birthday to Kristen Stewart, 34 years old today. Stewart first gained notice at age 12 for her role as the daughter of Jodie Foster's character in the thriller Panic Room. After appearing in such films as Sathura, A Space Adventure, and Into the Wild, she achieved global star stardom for starring in as Bella Swan in the Twilight Saga film series. After starring in this fantasy film Snow White and the Huntsman, Stewart preferred independent productions to big-budget films for a few years. Those included the dramas Camp X-Ray, Still Alice, and Equals. She was acclaimed for her performance in Olivier Assyris' drama Clouds of Siles Maria. She won a Cesar Award for Best Supporting Actress. Yes, that is, it is an old picture, but I would just refuse to do. Um, um, yes, if you want to chill and relax, I think it's the best around. Don't let uh, don't let the unicorn win. Yes, this is an old picture, but I liked it. Some of the other ones I just didn't like, so I I, I tried to do a pretty picture. Um, she also did. Uh, a supernatural thriller called Personal Shopper. She made her de directorial debut in a short film, Come Swim. Uh, she also had leading roles in the film Charlie's Angels and Happiest Season. She portrayed Diana, Princess of Wales, in Pablo Lorraine's biography drama, Spencer. Kristen Stewart. And we have it. Gerard Wade, 47 years old, American singer, songwriter, and comic book writer. He is best known as the lead vocalist and co-founder of the rock band My Chemical Romance. He released, he released his debut solo album, Hesitant Alien, in 2014. He co-created and wrote the comic miniseries The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys and the Eisner Award-winning comic book series The Umbrella Academy the latter of which was adapted into a Netflix series. Uh, he is also co-founder of DC Comics' young, anime, young animal imprint, Way. He, okay. Way is also co-founder of the DC Comics' young animal imprint. Way is co-creator of Penny Parker, an alternate version of Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. 47 years old, Gerard Wade. Yes, Mr. Angel, Kristen Sturt's eyes are amazing. And we have Bianca Nicole Blair, also known as Bianca Bel Air, 35 years old. She's a professional wrestler and fitness and a figure competitor. Uh, as of April 2016, she signed to the uh, WWE. She performs on the SmackDown brand under the ring name of Bianca Bel Air. She is one of the two women to win the WrestleMania main event. In 2023, she became the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion with her reign of 420 days. She also has the longest reign of any WWE Women's Champion chip since 2006. WDE uh, WWE has promoted her as the longest reigning women's championship of the modern era. This reign would break a couple of other records within the WWE, including the longest reigning black world champion, male or female, and the longest reigning African American for any singles championship. Bianca Belair, 35 years old today. Oh, uh, wait a minute. A uh, resident alien? 
Is this guy on to us? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And Dennis Quaid, 70 years old today. He is known for his leading man roles in films and television. Uh, the Guardian named him one of the best actors never to have received an Academy Award nomination. He first received uh, recognition for his role in the 1979 film Breaking Away. Then went on to play memorable roles in such films as The Right Stuff, The Big Easy, Inner Space, Great Balls of Fire, Dragonheart, Traffic, Frequency, The Rookie, The Day After Tomorrow, The Parent Trap, and Far From Heaven. 70 years old. Yes, 70 years old, Sci-Fi Mombi. That is insane. I feel like I'm getting old when I, some actors and things, and they were born in, the, you know, in 2000. And I'm like, no, nobody, I, nobody should be old enough to be, to be an adult yet, you know, <laughs> born in 2000. And yet, you know, you can be 24. It's just like, uh, when my youngest turned 21, um, it, I, I was hard. Because they were born in uh, 2002. And I just went, oh my gosh. It just was too much for me. Too much. And we have Veronica Taylor, 46. She's an American voice actress. Known for her dubbing work in English language adaptations of a Japanese anime. She is known particularly for voicing Ash Ketchum and his mother, Delia in the Pokemon anime, anime, Pokemon anime for its first eight seasons. She's also done Amelia Will Tesla Serum from Slayers, Sailor Pluto from Sailor Moon and the Sailor Moon Crystal, Nick, Nico Robin in the Four Kids dub of One Piece, April O'Neil in the 2003 10. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series and has voiced video game characters like Cosmos from Decilia, Decidia 012 Final Fantasy, Decidia Final Fantasy, and Decidia Final Fantasy NT. Additionally, using her real name, she is a narrator for various audiobooks such as Omen of the Stars um, from the Warrior series. Veronica Taylor. 46 years old today. Yes, Dunning. Uh, yes, that's, it's your oldest. 24 in October. It's wrong. It's just, no, stop. Uh, maybe I better wipe the planet's population's memory again, Sly. If you could look up at the flashy thing in the sky for a second, thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> and you're welcome, Mr. Angel. Vic will be 18 and Knight the Producer 16. It's insane. It's insane. And of course, some people never grow up because we have stunning going boobs. Yes, Ash wants to cross over to catch the legendary booby po Pokemon. Oh my gosh. And yes, the kid, they, they just grow up too fast. Like I said, my kid was, um, sixteen when, um, started streaming. So yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. 11 people are still watching. It's 35 minutes into the show. 1035 in my neck of the woods. And the poll is still to, hey, if you guys want to change this poll, somebody better vote. It's still up. Uh, it's still tied right now. Let me go ahead and see my likes. I have eight likes. Thank you very much. 
Um, for that, I have two, one person watching over on Twitch, which I think is me. Hello, me. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Um, and 12 people watching on YouTube. Appreciate that so much. Yes, stunning. Boobs are great. Uh, and come on. Come on. We don't have Pegasus on there. <laughs> come on, unicorn. You want the unicorn to win? Woo! Yeah, go unicorn. Team unicorn. <laughs> Oh, but if Unicorn wins, Snort of Poopus might never come back to the show. <laughs> it's not my decision. It's you guys. <laughs> oh, our next person is Jackie Ivanko. Uh, she's a singer who gained wide recognition at an early age. Uh, she sang primarily classical crossover covers in 2010 at the age of 10. She gained wide notice with her first, with her second place finish in the fifth season of America's Got Talent. Um, with the 2010 holiday release of Oh Holy Night, Ivanko became the best-selling debut artist in 2010. She was the youngest top 10 debut artist in U.S. history and the youngest solo artist ever to go platinum in the U.S. In 2011, her first full-length album, Dream to Be Dream With Me, debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 chart, and she became the youngest top five debut artist in the UK history. Billboard ranked Ivanko at the top classical album artist of 2011. She released a full-length holiday album, Heavenly Christmas, and became the youngest person ever to go to give a solo concert at Lincoln Center in New York City as part of her first concert tour. Hey, Ingabo! In 2012, she released Songs from the Silver Screen, her third top 10 album. In 2013, she headlined benefit concerts at Carnegie Hall and elsewhere. She's also appeared in the 2012 Robert Redford film, The Company You Keep. Later uh, album releases included Awakening, Someday at Christmas, Two Hearts, the debut, uh, her eight consecutive re release to reach number one on the U.S. classical album charts. Um, and she also released Carousels of Time. In 2017, she performed the U.S. national anthem at the presidential inauguration of Donald Trump and became the youngest person ever to perform a concert series at Cafe Carlisle. She has also given concert tours in support of each of her studio albums. And in 2020, she appeared as a contestant on the U.S. version of The Masked Singer. And let's see up here where we go. Where we find up. Where, ba, 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 ba. Stunning is Team Loch Ness. Hashtag Team Loch Ness. Nessie and Deadman is uh, Team Unicorn. We're having a little uh, emo battle here. Uh, unicorns, ha, ha, ha. And unicorns um, are actually quite dark and terrifying creatures in ancient stories. How they became the plushy icon they are now is a mystery to me. Because that's what we do with everything, Mr. Angel. <laughs> that's what we do with everything. And we have Angua once again. Hello, hello. And uh, we have some more Loch Ness because Loch Ness doesn't sing about cereal. <laughs> we have some hello. Um, and uh, Ang has a congratulations on five years of streaming. And you're being uh, lobbied to, to vote for Loch Ness. Um, and there's a, another congrats and some thank you, thank yous. And a heart. And DJ Play Nice says hello to Ang. Okay, I won't tell Ang that you signed up for Twitch. We Okay, I won't. Because uh, we don't want to scare him. Mr. Andrew says, vote unicorn, break the tie. Lock Ness in the lead. Oh, darn. Go, Nessie. Uh, yes, he did. Um, and he has no idea what to do with it. I sleep too much. 
Everyone, remember, Mrs. is also on Twitch. Uh, please give a follow to her and Angua over there, too. You voted for Loch Ness? Yes, we do. Loch Ness friend. I agree. Yes. Um, Loch Ness squad. So, yes, I've locked. I, I think that's a good choice, Ang. Excuse me, I had to get a little drink of water. So, yes, we have done Jackie Ivanko. And our next person is Michaela Davis, 32 years old. She's a musician, harpist, songwriter, vocalist, and producer. Best known for her original work with longtime bandmates and collaborators, Southern Star. She's a classically trained harpist known for playing rock music. And she has also toured with the folk group The Staves. Uh, need Amanda here to vote in our favor. Aquatic lizards need love too. <laughs> and they've made Nessie in, uh, uh, into this cute little little thing. I think Ness, Ness is cute. Like Ness is cute. I'm trying to... There we go. We have Isaac Hempstead Wright. He's a British actor known for his role as Bran Stark on the HBO television series Game of Thrones. He also voiced Eggs in the animated film The Box Trolls. And uh, let's see. Stunning says, I hear she's known for stringing people along. <laughs> and Mr. Angel pulls out the unicorn suit and does a final des uh, does a little dance as a final desperate message to promote unicorn <laughs> there once was a unicorn with magical feet no i won't sing anymore guys k adams in the 1960s adams arrived on the country music scene with the songs six days awaiting old hearts get ready it Anymore, don't talk trouble to me, trapped, roll out the red carpet, I cried at your wedding, honky-tonk heartache, and she didn't color daddy. She appeared as a regular on such Baker's field-based country music TV programs as Buck Owens Ranch and Dave Stogner, Stogner Show. At the inaugural Academy of Country Music Awards, she was named Top New Female Vocalist. Before, I just got this weird thing in the middle of my text. Before 1966, women never recorded songs about truck driving. But she recorded a hit that was called Little Pink Mac. It's a song giving the point of view of a woman driver. There, fix that. Thank you, Snorta Poopas, so much for that. I hope you don't start twitching either. See, see, you embrace the power of the unicorn. And uh, thank you uh, from Dadman Snorta Poopas and Snorta Poopas Pets. Nessie. Ness is ahead now with 10 votes, five votes to uh, the Loch Ness Monster, three to Unicorn, and one each to Yeti and Jackalope. I actually went and saw a Jackalope. And, uh, Mr. Angel says a snort of poop is pro tip. You might want to not chew on those humans with pacemakers to prevent those twitches. Been there. Uh, 
No vote for unicorns here. Neither for unique snowflakes or any type of these monsters. LOL. Good morning. Good morning to you, Masters Maniac Mexico. Hey, Dad Man. I see you on Twitch. How are you doing? And I thank, thank you for uh, the follow. I am now at 88 followers. Wow. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, the jackalope at the gas station was um, disappointing. So Kay Adams, kind of a rebel in the country music scene. And we have Marty Croft. And that is the from Sigmund into Sea Monster that's over his shoulder. It was hard to find a decent picture of him. Um, he died at 86 years old, uh, November of last year. Along with his brother, Sid, they were a Canadian sibling team of television creators, writers, and puppeteers. Through their production company, Sid and Marty Croft Pictures, they made numerous children's television and variety show programs. Uh, they did um, H.R. Puffin stuff, Land of the Lost. Sigmund into Sea Monsters. Their fantasy programs often featured large-headed puppets, high-concept plops, and extensive use of low-budget special effects. And I did not put in here, but they also did ver uh, regular shows. They did the uh, Donnie and Marie show uh, they produced, and um, I thought that was really, really interesting. So Marty Croft passed away at 86 years old. Then we have Bob, Paul Robeson, uh, passed away at 77 years old. He's an American-based baritone concert artist, stage and film actor, professional football player, and activist. He became famous for both his cultural accomplishments and his political stances. In 1915, Robeson won an academic scholarship to Rutgers College in New Brunswick, New Jersey, where he was the only African-American student. While at Rutgers, he was twice named a consensus All-American in football and was elected class valedictorian. He earned his LLB from Columbia Law School while playing in the National Football League. After graduation, he became a figure in the Harlem Renaissance with his performances in Eugene O'Neill's The Emperor Jones and All God's Chilling Out Wings. Rob Robson's political activities began with his involvement with unemployed workers and anti-imperialist students in Britain, and it continued with his support for the Republican cause during the Spanish Civil War and his, and his involvement in the Council of African Affairs. After returning to the United States in 1939, uh, he supported the American and Allied war efforts during World War II. His history of supporting civil rights causes and Soviet policies, however, brought scrutiny from the FBI. After the war ended, the CAA was placed on the Attorney General's list of subversive organizations. He was investigated during the Mar McCarthy era when he refused to recant his public advocacy of his political beliefs. The U.S. State Department withdrew his passport and his income plummeted considerably because he did a lot of performances um, out of the country. He moved to Harlem and published a period periodical called Freedom, which was critical of United States policies from 50, 1950 to 55. He, his right to travel was eventually restored um, as a result of a Supreme Court decision in 1958. Um, between 25, 1925 and 61, he released recordings of some 276 songs. The first of this was the spiritual Still Away, backed by Were You There in 1925. His repertoire spanned many styles, including Americana, popular standards, classical music, European folk songs, political songs, poetry, and spoken ep excerpts from plays. Truly a man of many, many talents. Paul Robeson, 77 years old. Let's, let's, ooh.
Oh, la, la, la. We have hellos, hellos. If you chat on Twitch, Mrs. can bring it up to show the to the entire stream. Plus, unique characters, especially if you subscribe to her. Hello, Amanda. How are you this morning? Good morning. Um, I see that you have a show that you're going to air tonight. It uh, looks a very, very interesting. Um, let me see if I can find it. Oh, and you show oh, you got the, the solar eclipse also. I was looking to see if you had an uh, upcoming. So let's. It's so hard sometimes to find things on here. Oh, well, I wanted to do it. Let's put your, um, if you had a link for tonight's show on here. Ah, let's see. This, uh, Amanda's going to be, uh, doing this show tonight. Um, it is a podcast that she does. Um, this one is going to be with Madeline Holly Rosings, creator of Boston Medical Metaphysical Society. Apologize for misspeaking the name. So, um, there is the link of that show. Uh, go over there and check it out. Very, very good. Um, good, good interviews. Really, and some of the stuff I don't, um, I don't understand. I don't know about, and they're really fascinating to watch. So go over there and check it out. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Amanda's over here on YouTube. She she doesn't have to say "dad man." She can, she can vote itself. And uh, Snort Poopa says, never trust a unicorn. And Mr. Angel denies hacking the planet to rig the vote categorically. Um, and you are so welcome. Yes, vote for Loch Ness, the friendly lake monster. Where I am, um, we had only a 50%. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That was your name. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I will, I will. Hello and welcome to the show. Man, Manipogo, the friendly lake monster. Um, I bet you, I know who you voted for. Um, so a uh, welcome to the show. So glad to, to, uh, to see you. I totally misread your name. I thought. I'm not, it's, it's, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So I apologize for, um, for not saying hello to you earlier. And uh, there's Snort of Poopa saying hi on the Twitch side. It won't let you place your vote. Well, then just let me know and I will add it in. Absolutely. Um, I hope you're voting for the unicorn. No, I know who you're voting for. Um, so, yeah, Amanda, just let me know who you're voting for, and I'll put it in. Um, I was in the middle of a build stream when the eclipse happened. <laughs> Speaking of that, I will uh, be doing uh, a probably an impromptu stream uh, someday. Uh, the podcast tonight uh, is the creator of this uh, comic book, and it's a. She says it is a great comic series. It's a comic about history, demons, steampunk, and ghosts. Wow, the graphics looked really, really cool. 
And Amanda says that she got lucky. She got to see the total eclipse, which is on her YouTube channel, I saw. So uh, go over there and check her out. Give her a like. Um, she's also on Twitch. Um, so go to both of them and support Amanda. She's a great, great creator. She kind of started us all in uh, Dad Man in this. He started over on her show. Um, and um, she finally got sick and said, Dad Man, you need to do your own show. And uh, kind of was like the, the mama bird pushing him out of the nest do your thing. And so really, um, encourage dad man, um, in, in the streaming. So it was very, very cool. Um, so you live in Manitoba, Canada. Awesome. Lake Manitoba, Canada. Very, very cool. Um, we got a couple, uh, a few Canadians that uh, are, are are um supporters of our channels and uh really appreciate that. So I guess we need to continue with birthdays or we'll never get done with this show. And my memes are funny today. So I need to get to the memes. So let's let's find this. So oops, wait, I don't want to change it yet because we haven't talked about Carl Perkins. Carl Perkins, American guitar singer and songwriter, a rockabilly a rockabilly great and pioneer of rock and roll. He began his recording career in the Sun Studio. Uh, among his best-selling songs were Blue Shade Sh Shoes, Honey Don't, Matchbox, and Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. According to fellow musician Charles Daniel, Carl Perkins' songs personified that rockabilly era. Uh, his songs were also recorded by other artists and friends. Um, as influential as Elvis Presley, The Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, Johnny Cash, and Eric Clampton. Paul McCartney said, if there were no Carl Perkins, there would be no Beatles. He was nicknamed the king of rockability, rock rockability, rockabilly. <laughs> and he was also inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Rockabilly Hall of Fame, the Memphis Music Hall of Fame, and the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. And he also received a Grammy Hall of Fame award. Snort of Poopus is hiding. <coughs> Let's see. I'm trying to figure out. Yes, you you were. You were like, get off me, damn it. Good do your own thing. And damn dad, dad man's like, uh, wait, what? What? <laughs> and Snorter Poopus, we know there is an underground river connecting Lake Manitoba to Loch Ness. And he is also hiding in his pillow fort over on the Twitch side. Carl Perkins. Passed away at 65 years old. We have Edward Wybridge. Yes, that is how his name is spelled. Um, he's a photographer known for his pioneer work in photographic studies of motion and early works in mo early works in motion picture projection. Um, he changed his name to that spelling because he wanted to. <laughs> he um, not only is noted for his uh, photography, like in Yosemite, San Francisco, and the Alaska Territory, he also if you ever have seen the pictures of like the horse galloping or the, the lady dancing, the really short things, he did those. Um, he made the early quote, moving picture studies in California. Uh, he's known for his pioneering chrono photography of animal locomotion between 1978 and 1886, which used multiple cameras to capture the different positions in a stride for his zoprosic scope. It's got a lot of uh, X's and Z's in it. It's a device for, protect, for projecting painted motion picture from glass disc that predict, predated the flexible perforated film strips used in cinematography. To, well, not today because now it's digital. But yes. Edward Moy Moybage 
pioneer in motion picture projection. Curly Lambeau, 67 years, a professional football player and coach for the National Football League. He, along with his friend and fellow Green Bay, Wisconsin native George Whitney Calhoun, founded the Green Bay Packers in 1919. He served as team captain in the team's first year before becoming a player coach in 1920. Uh, he was a halfback, um, which in the early years of the NFL was the premier position. He was the team's primary runner and passer. He accounted for 35 touchdowns, eight as a rusher, three as a receiver, and 24 as a passer in 77 games. He won his only NFL championship as a player in 1929. From 1920 to 49, he was head coach and general manager of the Packers with near total control over the team's day-to-day -day operations. He led the team to over 200 wins, six NFL championships, including three straight from 1929 to 31. Um, he is tied with rival George Halas of the Chicago Bears and Bill Belichick of the New England Patriots on having the most NFL championships by a coach. He's also coached eight players who went on to be elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He was an inaugural inductee to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 63 and the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame in 1970 in recognition for his role as founder, player, and coach of the Packers. Two months after his death in 1965, the Packers' home stadium, which is still used today, was renamed Lambeau Field in his honor. Curly Lambeau passed away at 67 years old. We some hellos and hellos. Amanda asked if if uh, she can come hide with you, Snorter Poopas. She loves pillow uh, pillow for pillow forts. My mouth is not wanting to work. Blah blah blah. And we have hellos and hellos. And uh, Snorter Poopa says, lots of pillows. I have tons of pillow pets. And uh, Dad Man says, where's Lisa? It does look like a mugshot. But, you know, I I really couldn't find any. <laughs> I couldn't. It was hard to find a, a good picture back then. So I just used the trading card. And, uh, can Amanda asked, can I bring my, I don't know how to say that. And I know, I know the word, but I can't say it. Squishmallow. And we have Atwood. Hello, what's up? What's up? Not much, not much. Of course, pets. Cthulhu. Is that it? Cthulhu. Yeah, Cthulhu and Tweak's Tentacle. I knew I would get the, the thing. We have a hello there. So let's see what else. Well, we're never going to get through these. So, yes, hit the likes. Make them even. And, Mr. Angel, thank you for stopping by. Enjoy your dinner. Have a wonderful time with your guests and dinner. And, uh, Asian Atwood, Atwood, I am not picking the dadgum unicorn. No, 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 no. And the man is LOLO, LOLO, and laughing the unicorns. Um, And, yes, Cthulhu, the true god. <laughs> And we have hellos, hellos. Let's check our poll so far. Um, Loch Ness is first. Yeti has taken second place with Unicorn third and Jackalope in fourth. Very nice. Ten people still watching. Thank you so much for that. Um, Okie dokie. Let's get through these birthdays so we can do the memes because the memes are really funny today. I bet you guys might know what they're about. Our last person is Isambard Kingdom Brunel. And yes, that is his real name. He was named uh, Isambard is from his father. Kingdom is from his mother. And Brunel is their last name. He has died at 53 years old. He's a British civil engineer and mechanical engineer who is considered one of the most ingenious and prolific figures in engineering history. One of the... Um, one, he is one of the 19th century engineering giants and one of the greatest figures in the Industrial Re Revolution who changed the face of the English landscape with his groundbreaking designs and ingenious constructions.
He built dockyards, the Great Western Railway, a series of steamships, including the first purpose-built transatlantic steamship, and numerous important bridges and tunnels. His designs revolutionized public transport and modern engineering. He, along with his father, I believe, built the tunnel that went under the Thames River. And I walked under that tunnel, and it is creepy as heck. Yes, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Happy birthday anniversary. And the man is, yes, down with the unicorn. <laughs> As skinwalkers for the win. I found Jack the Ripper. It was Isambard the whole time. <laughs> Oh. oh well let's not let's let's remove this real quick because I I've I've got this is yes. Gotta do the impact here. So I thank you all for being here. Uh 15 people an hour and six minutes into the show. Um uh eleven oh six in my neck of the woods. Um so I am so glad that you are all here. Um, we have a killer rabbit from space. Greetings, humans, and polar bear rug. Uh, actually, the polar bear rug might be over on the Twitch side right now with you, killer rabbit. He has gone to the Twitch side. Woohoo! I said to Tim, Tim, Tim's. What do you mean? It's not Thames. It's the Tim's. That's how you say it. Or the Thames, maybe. And let's not forget his little-known brother, Ichabob Republic Brunel. Exactly. Exactly. Well, everybody, it is an hour and seven minutes past the show. Loch Ness Monster is in first place on our poll. Yeti is in second. Jackalope and Unicorn. Um, unicorn is third and jackalope is fourth. So if you want to vote, which creature you like best, Yeti, jackalope, unicorn, or Loch Ness Monster, let me know and I will, um, Killer Rabbit says jackalope with no hesitation. So jackalope is one that we will put over from the Twitch side. And Demi says, would y'all stop the unicorn hate today? It's not going to happen. And we have Hello Mittens uh, from Snortapoopus to Killer Rabbit. And uh, we get a bunch of revolt. Never dead man, no unicorns. And Snortapoopus says, I don't hate unicorns. I think they're quite tasty. I don't understand why you're laughing. Why are you laughing, dad man, at that? I don't understand. And Penny hearts unicorns. Amanda says never. And uh, just joking. I, I don't understand your joke. But um, okay. <laughs> yes, Nota Poopus Cuber. Eat all dim unicorns. Eat all dim unicorns. So now guess what time. It is time for something memeingful. Yes, we have unicorn memes, everybody. And here is our first meme today. Always be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. <laughs> And Deadman thanks Penny. You and Lady V Elements get me and the unicorn. Thank you. Yes, she does. Yes, you deserve this, Deadman Walking. Uh, boomer, boomer, boomer. <laughs> 
And no! And Killer Rabbit likes dumping unicorns out of the airlock of my flying saucer. Has anyone seen Charlie the Unicorn? Uh, the torture. Yes, so a unicorn is really a drunk horse wearing a party hat. <laughs> oh, I want to be a unicorn because they don't exist. <laughs> oh, well, I. Oh, yes, Chucky, my eyes. Well, how am I supposed to know you're mispronouncing it? You're typing it. You're so silly. That man says, beautiful unicorn. Beautiful unicorn. Unicorns aren't real. <laughs> well, neither is free stuff. <laughs> Lost unicorn. If found, please stop doing drugs. <laughs> oh, we have uh, little teddy bears that looks like our dogs, and the, the it's a dragon. Teddy bears and dragons. That's not a bad combination. Always be yourself. Unless you can be a butterfly, unicorn, rainbow kitten. Then be that, obviously. Yes, a dead man walking. Beautiful unicorn. But just think of all the glue you can get from it. But you know what? It would be glitter glue that you get from a unicorn. Chucky, a unicorn is just a horse that got stabbed with a pogo stick by me. <laughs> Chucky, you're a bad, bad, bad doll. Unicorn. <laughs> oh, and Snorter Poopa says hello to Chucky. And uh, yes, that is your vote. Butterfly, well, let me. That is my vote. Butterfly, unicorn, rainbow kitten. And I just thought that's the most adorable picture. Mmm, unicorn steaks on the barbecue. Some steaks on the Barbie. Just kidding. Unicorns are so boring, said nobody ever. They might be despised, but they're not boring. Being a person is getting too complicated. Time to be a unicorn. <laughs> I, we have 14 people watching. Thank you guys so much. And on that meme, we're going to check our poll here real quick. We have 17 votes. The Loch Ness Monster in the lead, Yeti. Uh, then the unicorn and the jackalope in that order. Um, <laughs> then you're nobody. <laughs> Be nobody. I wish I were a unicorn so I could stab idiots with my head. <laughs> I think Loch Ness is going to win. Um, I, I, I believe it is going to win. That is one of the perks of being a unicorn. Unicorn. High capacity assault unicorn. <laughs> Bitch, please, my bike is a motherfucking unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get it one stick pony. <laughs> and that would for once I agree, Chucky. <laughs> it's about time at wood. 
I'm a happy-go-lucky ray of fucking sunshine. <laughs> oh, hello, silence always wins. How are you today? I hope today is finding you well. Um, if you'd like, uh, hit that subscribe and like button for me and vote in our poll about what uh, creature we like the best in the poll, um, which was a uh, Yeti, Jackalope, Unicorn and Loch Ness Monster. We have 17 votes. Wow, thank you. And Loch Ness Monster is still in the lead. Actually, we have 18 votes. You would have painted the horse black. That way it would be a demon unicorn. And Jackie says, wouldn't it be red then, Amanda? Oh, black with red marks on it. That would be a fun bike to ride until you hit a fence and get your horn stuck. That would be the hair. It would be fire hair. That would be cool. And Killer Rabbits is, ouch, my ears, what language. Well, we are an 18 plus show, even though I try to stay PG, PG 13. But I think that's allowed. You can say it a couple of times and it still be PG. And Chucky says to Amanda, fair enough with the red hair. And uh, so, don't you mean his stick, Snorty? <laughs> da, da, da. A herd of unicorns in a forest after eating burritos. I should get off this unicorn and slap you. <laughs> I passed crazy long ago. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Paper says the glitter farts are pretty, but they still stink. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, okay, fortification under cardinal knowledge. <laughs> ah, stupid pony says Chucky. Oh, my word on that one. Wow. <laughs> well, maybe you've never seen a girl unicorn before. As a unicorn proctologist. Mrs. Can we show these again tomorrow night at late night? Sure you can. My eyes, no. And uh Sunny says, Good job, Chucky. I'm proud of you. And that makes sense. And pity's like, ouch. <laughs> And Dan was like, what? My screen is too small. A girl unicorn? Wow. <laughs> that unicorn got the point. Yes, that one. Yes. I'm going to wait. Let me, let me do this. Yes. yes, it got the point. Uh, that unicorn got the point. Dad, man, it's a boob as a horn. It's a, 
that's not what he said. Boop head. Amanda, yes. Giving us stuff we can never unsee. <laughs> yes. You've heard of unibrow. Now there is unitity. <laughs> Oh, and says, okay, I thought so. Uh, just uh, speechless, Mrs. <laughs> Holy crap, you're real. <laughs> Jackie says, oh, I got approval for once. Success. Yes, now where are Lady V and Lisa? The stream is going off the rails, and I'm the one that pushed the car off of the tracks. <laughs> oh, goodness, let's see here. Uh, real unicorns have curves. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> well, it looks like Santa has someone or something else to ride now. He, 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 he says Chucky. <laughs> and Amanda says, for once, it's not my fault for the stream going off the rails. Okay. Okay, Mr. Angel, I'll get to them in, in a second. Uh, for once, it's yes, it is not. And so proof it says Lady V and Lisa are much too innocent for this stream. <laughs> I wonder if there is a unicorn somewhere drinking human frappuccino. I bet it tastes like Netflix debt and tears. <laughs> Are unicorns fake, but ja how are unicorns fake, but Jack's giraffe? Okay, let me start over. How are unicorns fake, but giraffes are real? Like, what's more believable, a horse with a horn or a leopard moose camel with a 40-foot neck? Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh. Snort Poop says, Lady V and Lisa are much too innocent for this stream. Stunning says, no, they aren't. And Lisa says, I know for a fact that Lisa is not. I've been on a few shows with her. They naughty girls. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're not. <laughs> no, Chucky, they are not. <laughs> they are not too dirty, naughty for this stream. Oh, you're in the bunker, so Twitch won't stream now. And yes, it doesn't take much to derail it. This might be a two-hour sh show. Your search bar on my computer has a unicorn on the right side. Okay, that's funny. That is funny. Oh, crap. Was that today? Okay, this one will scar everybody for life. Wait, I'm trying. Don't even try. You'll never be as cool as this guy. <laughs> I'm a pony. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's dead. This is the uh, the uh, the human version of Fabio Sparklemane from Fortnite. <laughs> Might be a two-hour stream. I think it's harder way past going. <laughs> yes. No. Stop. No. <laughs> that one is good. <laughs> Eek. Eek. <laughs> My eyes, my eyes. <laughs> Yikes. 
<laughs> also, uh, there goes my breakfast. <laughs> just let you guys look at that one a little bit while I check out the poll. Uh, we have 18 votes. Loch Ness Monster number one, uh, Yeti second, Unicorn third, and Jackalope is a fourth. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. The seven people that are watching over here, I've chased seven people away. And the four people that are watching over on Twitch, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Chucky, don't look. Chucky, you said, I know you said, Chucky, don't look. And Chucky, just when you thought you've seen everything. No, you haven't seen everything until you've seen a unicorn in a unitard on a unicycle. Change Mrs. Description of this show to join me for positive vibes and mental scarring. There were green alligators and long neck geese, so humpty back camels um, and some chimpanzees, cats and rats and elephants as sure. And, and, and as sure as you're born, but the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Chucky says, anything but the dude corn. Mothership to home base. Uh, stop invasion. If uh, Stop invasion of Earth. Abort, abort. <laughs> it's a dude corn. <laughs> and snort of poop is burrows deeper into his pillow fort. And this one's for you, dad man. Behind every successful unicorn is a pack of haters. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious <laughs> and and I man is wait for me snort I, I want I want to hide too and Chucky me too snort if I can fit me too <laughs> <laughs> and just kill it with fire. Okay, on that note, I, that is all of the memes that I have. I'm going to check the Discord of what Mr. Angel said, and let's see what he has sent here. I'll just go here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, I'm probably going to have to do these straight from... Uh, Discord. Is it okay if I do it straight from Discord, uh, Mr. Angel? Um, uh, damn straight. Yes, so successful that they literally don't exist. Uh, we can handle intergalactic terriers, but the unicorn dude, you can keep Earth. Mr. Angel, is it okay if I do them straight from your Discord? Um, let me know and I will uh, show show them. But yes, we are an hour and 30 minutes into the show. Um, and uh, it's been crazy today. Uh, it's a National Unicorn Day, everybody. Uh, you need to stop the pogo... Oh, it's okay. Okay. So here we go. Let me get these over here so that we can, um, let's see, how can I do this? I got to figure out how to do it because, uh, okay. Give me one second. Uh, I don't have enough monitors. So let's go ahead and stop this for right now. And we'll go ahead and present the screen again. Oh, we're Let's allow. Hmm. What I need to do is this. Okay, so let me get the Discord here. And we'll move this over here. 
I want, oh, move that over here. We will uh, share this screen. Let's see, can I make that bigger? So here we go. The, I can't make them bigger, so I hope you guys can see them okay. I wish I could make that bigger. Oh, I know. Oh, no, I don't know what to do. Anyway, it says, a magical unicorn? What's your name? Uh, Stabby. <laughs> you guys make your screen better to see these. These are funny. I need to put these. I'll share these with my memes. I cannot read it. Let me see if I can make it bigger and read it. I cannot read what that says. Can anybody read what that says? Anyway, it looks like it's scary. I don't, I can't read that one. I wish I could. Let me see if we can make it bigger here. Uh, do you grant wishes? Yes, but first you must... I can't read it. Oh, darn. I was hoping I'd be able to see that. Oh, well, guys, I can't. I, some of them, they're too small. It's a little frustrating. Uh, let's see. If, how about this next one? That one we'll just have to figure out. I'll, I'll post later. And let's see. What do we have here? A unicorn. Heavy duty unicorn and the underwater unicorns yes the narwhals yes i love that one and we have oh my gosh you have a spike on your head i'm a unicorn you need to see a doctor haters gonna hate <laughs> he's got a He's got a spike in his head. Hate is going to hate. Unicorn's going to unicorn. <laughs> oh. So thank you, Mr. Angel, for those. I wish I could have read the th second one. I got, I, um, but I, I couldn't. I am so sorry for that. It, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll post it. I'll do, I'll do a tweet on it. Let me go ahead and get our, um, um, what's it called? Our other show back here. Let me put everything the way I need to do it. So we need to go here and we need to start the show from there. And everything looks good. We'll move this over here. Hopefully, I'm not airing any of this. If I am, oh well, I am. And then we need to make this small. So, okie doke. So, we are ready for um, uh, oh, but first, okay, yeah, okay, that one said, uh, do you grant wishes? And it goes, yes, but first you must cover yourself in this magical barbecue sauce. Thank you, Snorter Poopus, for the uh, translation. <laughs> I just could not read it. Uh, I just could not read it. So um, <laughs> thank you, Mr. A, for those. Quite, quite funny. Now it is time for, let me see. Let me get this all set up here correctly. That goes like that. That goes here. And we have now, it is time for. And thank you for Alaska Jeff, for Alaska and Jeff, for that wonderful animation. I appreciate it. And so here we go with our celebrations today. Can we guess what the first celebration is going to be, everybody? Yes, it is National Unicorn Day. Woohoo! Yes, the origin of unicorns is a dark story. Not cute at all. I think a lot of them are that have that are are dark. 
A uh, National Unicorn Day celebrates the mythical horse-like creature with a single pointed horn growing from the center of its forehead. Unicorns have been a popular mythical creature since ancient Greek times when people believed they lived in exotic India. While they were once considered to be fierce, powerful animals, many now see them as a symbol of love, purity, enchantment, and magic. They also appear in many movies and cartoons as magical creatures. Both adults and children find a fascination with unicorns. They also continue to find their way into fantasy novels alongside other mythical creatures. So, National Unicorn Day. And yes, they eat humans, aliens, and polar bears as dessert. Be warned. Our next celebration is International ASMR Day, or ASMR. Um, to let you know, the source of all my celebration information is daysoftheyear.com, nationaltoday.com, and National Day Calendar. I didn't say it earlier, but I get all my birthday uh, information from famousbirthdays.com and wikipedia.org, unless I state otherwise. Um, so International ASMR Day, or as Dadman says, ASMR Day. Day. ASMR can help sufferers of PTSD, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. It can also help you relax um, no matter the reason. And if you're wondering what ASMR could be, it's a phenomenon that tickles the senses in the most unexpected ways. This special day is not just about the tingles and whispers. It's a global recognition of an intriguing sensory experience that has captivated millions worldwide. This day is a, to spread awareness and appreciation for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR. And uh, and the chicken says, but not me, because they wouldn't exist without me. And the man says, no, that is worse than Unicorn Day. Not polar bears. We be ferocious. ASMR is the worst thing to ever happen. I hate it. Some of those channels, you know, they say they're supposed to relax you, but they give me the creeps. Some of them, I, I, I like some um, ASMR, but a lot of them where they do that and they scratch the headphones, the, the microphone, and they may just make, oh. Oh, it just, it does not calm me at all. Now, nature sounds, nature ASMR and things like that, I like. But the, the man-made, the, the, oh, just, I don't like it. I agree with you with that, Amanda. I agree with you 100%. Um, let's see. It's just the worst thing to happen. ASMR calming people before I take them out uh, for Chucky. He appreciates that. Oh, the eating ones. Oh no, I can't. I can't do. I don't. I can't stand it when uh, people eat loud around me. I yell at Dad Man all the time to be quiet. And Stunning says asthma only works if it's a hot chick's voice. No, I don't care what voice it is. Stunning. They. Oh, so many of them just give me the heebie-jeebies. I just don't, I don't care for them. But I like the nature sounds. That, that ASMR I like. But not the, the manu, kind of the manufactured stuff. Ugh. And then we have Appomattox Day for Dad Man and Snorter Poop is here. National Today. And anyone else that enjoys history, I shouldn't just single them out, but I know for sure that they do enjoy history. It signifies the end of the Civil War, it, which lasted four years. On April 9, 1985, General Robert E. Lee and the Confederate Army of North Virginia surrendered to the North Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant and soldiers from the Union Army. On April 7th, after the Confederate troops had suffered a disastrous defeat at the battles of Sailor's Creek, Grant asked Lee to surrender. Grant declared that any, quote, further effusion of blood was solely on Lee's head. However, Lee refused and he still believed he could escape Grant, but asked out about the possibility of a peace agreement. 
Lieutenant Gr General Grant replied that a peace agreement was out of the question, but he would consider a military surrender. Upon realizing that his army was cornered, General Lee requested to discuss terms of surrender on April 9th. The two sides signed the surrender agreement at the McLean House. So Appomattox Day. And Amanda says, I would rather hear Chucky taking someone out. And Dad Man says, every day should be Unicorn Day. And Atwood says, never, Dad Man, never. We also have National Chinese Almond Cookie Day. National Day calendar recognizes a tasty treat um, on National Chinese Almond Cookie Day. It's adorned with an almond, the delicious almond flavor, and a slightly crunchy texture that is sure to make you smile. There's a variety of recipes that offer different processes and ingredients in making these delicious cookies. But one fact does remain. These cookies are delicious. These cookies are ex excellent for serving with tea. They not only dip well, but their flavor pairs well with tea also. Oh, you were buffering and you lost get, didn't get the end of the Appomattox story. Well, I'm sorry. I, oh, God darn, you're going to have to just watch the show again and, uh, and, and relive it. We also have a National Mature Woman's Day. Yay! Days of the Year says she's distinguished, seasoned, and filled with confidence. She has lived a bit of life and is proud of the lessons she has learned along the way. Instead of worrying about getting older and losing her youth, she can celebrate the incredible beauty that comes from her wisdom and experience by taking part in National M Mature Women's Day. Question, what is mature? I think they're talking about age, not about attitude. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess when you reach the half the century mark, maybe. And the Chucky said, that's my voodoo working dad, man. He, 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 he. That's why you, your show buffered. And Chucky likes your attitude, Amanda. Uh, Snorter Poopa says, The irony is McLean owned a different house earlier in the war. It was in Manassas where the first big battle in the East took place. <laughs> and Amanda says, Thanks, Chucky. <laughs> Our next day is Jumbo Day. This day, from National Today, this day celebrates the life of Jumbo the Elephant, also as known as Jumbo the Circus Elephant, who was a 19th century male African bush elephant originally from Sudan. He was transferred from Africa to uh, Jardin de Plantes, a French zoo in Paris. Then he was transferred to the London Zoo in England. It was here that an American businessman and showman bought him and brought him to the United States. Sadly, Jumbo died in September 15, 1885. The giant elephant's name spawned the common word Jumbo and left its mark on popular culture. So, National Jumbo Day. And Manette says, oh, okay, because mature or maturity are two words not in my vocabulary. Yeah, this is mature talking about age, not talking about, um, like I say attitude because then I wouldn't necessarily be mature because I laugh at unicorn jokes. Did you know that Jumbo, well, Jumbo Jr. is Dumbo's real name? You know, I think I did. I think I did because they called him Dumbo They because of his ears. Yes, they say the war began and ended in McLean's front yard. And Chucky is, ha! For some reason, ha! It is National Cherish and Antique Day. National Day calendar says it encourages us to seek the deeper story behind treasures and family heirlooms. It reminds us that sometimes there is more to antiques than just the dollar sign. Do you have something special that someone has passed down to you? Oh, that's, or that's been passed down from your parents, your grandparents, or great-grandparents? 
The day provides us an opportunity to learn the story and the history behind our treasured antiques. The day provides us the opportunity to learn the uh, story. Oh, sorry. It's an excellent time to record the provenance and preserve it for safekeeping. Over the years, family members collect the items from their travels or they remind them of a moment from their past. They may be cherished because of personal or emotional connections. Often the colorful story tells how it came into the family, making it even more valuable as an heirloom. We have a nativity set that uh, has absolutely no value monetary value all at all but the provenance uh and the family value emotional value is tremendous because it was something that my dad my mom casted the plaster and my dad painted it and uh it has uh been every year it's been out at christmas and uh, i have received it so that is the only really the only thing in the ha this house that if it was burning, I probably would grab to take out. And he, and he moved to Appomattox to get away from the war. Um, McLean did. Uh, he should have moved to Alaska. Hey, Dad, man, there's a day for you. Uh, the Antiques Day. <laughs> This is is a mature because she laughs at unicorn jokes. Further proof unicorns suck. <laughs> oh, he should have moved at least west of the Mississippi. Exactly. So after our cherished antiques day, we have Jenkins Ear Day. Um, from a, this is from AmericanHistoryCentral.com. Captain Juan de Leon Fandino, a Spanish naval officer, boarded a British vessel, the Rebecca, near the coast of Havana. Uh, he accused the British captain, Robert Jenkins, of engaging in smuggling activities. Legend has it that during the ensuing search, a heated argument erupted, culminating in Fandino severing Jenkins' ear. Um, he th Fandino threw the severed ear at Jenkins while saying, take this to your king and inform him that I would do the same if it were he present. Amid escalating tensions between the British and Spanish forces in North America, Jenkins made his way back to London with his severed, severed ear safely stored in a bottle. Uh, when he was called to testify before the House of Commons, he showed the members his ear. Uh, when he was asked what he did to deserve having his ear cut off, he said, I commanded my soul to God and my cause to my country. While the Jenkins incident was just one of the several encounters along the North American frontier, it became a rallying cry for those who wanted to take actions against Spain. Yes, as in the War of Jenkins' Ear. Uh, you would grab your dogs and Skeletor. Yep. And we have Masters from Agent, and Agent says hi. And Sword of Poopa says, as in the War of Jenkins' Ear. Yes, it was. But I could not... I d Yes, it uh, was like the rallying Kai and it did uh, culminate like in the War of Jenkins' Ear. A jar of ear. I got a jar. Yes. The fact that he carried it around just is amazing to me. Um, it's just amazing to me. And next week we will discuss the War of Muldoon's Bollocks. And news flash today Spain is the beggar of Europe. LOL. Yes. Uh, Dadman says, uh, having fun. I am so far behind. The buffering here uh, is beyond ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, now, sorry. Oh, man, I'm trying to. Uh, and Amanda says, don't blame the buffering boomer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Our next celebration is National, I mean, Identity Management Day. In today's, from days of the year, in today's digital age, the threat of having one's personal information and identity stolen is a common risk. With the annual price tag of identity fraud ranging from in the tens of billions of dollars every year, this is certainly a topic that needs to be taken very seriously. Identity Management Day is here to encourage and inspire individuals and organizations to learn more and take advantage of opportunities to protect themselves from these types of losses. And uh, National Name Yourself Day. National Day Calendar says, if you have ever wondered what it would be like to have a different name, this is the day to find out. Whether you like your name or not, this day is about having fun with a different name. Actors get to try on new names all the time. While they're at it, they are also pretend to be another personality altogether. Trying on a new name can be fun. For those who are frequently being called by the wrong name, try on that other name for size. Does mom call you by a sibling's name? Or is your name Greg, but you're forever being called Craig? Adopt a name that avoids these pitfalls. The mom really does love you, even if she calls you by your sibling's name. So National Name Yourself Day. And Damon says, it's nice to have, oh, God, it keeps slipping. It's nice to have you back with us, Amanda. And Amanda says, LOL, identity management and name yourself day are the same day. <laughs> yes, are on the same day. Yeah, I think that's kind of funny. And Stoner Poops puts all the passwords in a password secured file, then forgets the password. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, yes. That's all I can say to that is, uh-huh. Our next day is National Former Prisoner of War Recognition Day. While most people would prefer to live in times of peace, the men and women who serve in the military work hard to serve, protect, and defend the, their nation in peacetime and wartime. And sometimes this means sacrificing their freedom and lives. National Former Prisoner of War Recognizes, Recognition Day is here to show special appreciation for these men and women who have given up so much. And then we have National Gin and Tonic Day. Uh, National Day says, much like pancakes and maple syrup, bacon and eggs, spaghetti and meatballs, peanut butter and jelly, and apple pie and ice cream, something about gin and tonic feels right. Although there's enough dreaming about food right now, what makes gin and tonic special is that it's surprisingly easy to prepare, yet tastes amazing. The ingredients are in its name. It doesn't get any simpler than this. g and T's is the perfect daytime drink. Just kidding. It's equally perfect for nighttime, too. Uh, gin and tonic days. And we have, let's, oh, it, oh, you can't see them on the black. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Best celebration day ever. That's one really cool thing about these celebrations. They always have a, <laughs> a lot of food and alcohol in them, surprisingly. Then we have National Winston Churchill Day. Uh, well known for his leadership as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during World War II, Winston Churchill earned his reputation through experience both in politics and the military. On this day in 1963, a ceremony for honorary citizenship presided over by President John F. Kennedy took place for Winston Churchill. While Churchill was not present at the ceremony, his son and grandson attended. Honorary uh, though his citizenship might be, Churchill can uniquely trace his roots back to Virginia by way of Brooklyn, New York. His mother was American, Jenny J Jerome. Her marriage to Lord Randolph Churchill produced two children, John Spencer and Winston. It was the first occasion in the U.S. history to honor, to give an honorary citizenship to someone. So Winston Churchill Day. It is said that the British invented gin and tonic when they put gin in their quinine for fighting malaria to cover the taste of the quinine. Very interesting. Very. See, we just learned so much cool stuff here. And we have our last one, which is International Be Kind to Lawyers Day. Uh, 
uh, daysoftheyear.com says, it seems an odd sentiment to open a conversation about International Be Kind, the Lawyer's Day. But we can see how you think so. But one must remember that lawyers are always placed in a rough position of having to stand for their client and make, make sure that they get them the best results they can for them. Before considering the years of school it takes to do this effectively, realize that it requires a certain person to defend their client, whether the charge with whatever the charge without bias. So international, be kind to lawyers. Be kind to who? Amanda? Uh, nope. And uh, Snort Poopus is, uh, be kind to who? Lawyers. Lawyers. <laughs> I know you knew what it was. Um, so that is our celebration today. Wow, it is 1.56 uh, into the show, 11.56 in my neck of the woods. And I am tired. I got to go to the bathroom. So we are going to wrap this show up every time. What is it? Wrap, tie a bow on it and say it's done. Uh, sharks do not eat lawyers. It is called professional courtesy. Absolutely. I think you're insulting the sharks there, actually, snort a Oh, uh, what? No way. I only call Saul to him. I won't pay a cent. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you so much. Um, so, yay. Hi. Bye. Vulcan. Live long and prosper. Peace and love y'all from Penny. So we're going to go ahead and start closing down our show here. First off, uh, if you would like to support Children's Hospital of Orange County Park, Streamers is a part of this uh, fundraiser, Chalk, Park, Chalk Walk in the Park, presented by Disneyland Resorts. You can go to the site on the page if you want to support them financially, or if you would like to just uh, get the information out, uh, retweet it on your social medias. Uh, that would be great. They started off with a $500 goal. Then they went to a thousand then 3000. Now they're at 5,000. I know they're uh, about three, uh, last time I looked like 3,500, I think, um, toward this goal. The walk is in July. So we have plenty of time to, uh, help do that. Um, let's see here. Let me find this. Also, uh, on Thursday, I'm going to hopefully complete the build of the Sakura house. Um, I started it on Monday. I did a little bit of it in a impromptu build with a chat with uh, when Dadman did a late night chat. I'll probably do one more impromptu stream to get a little bit ahead because this is an involved build. Uh, 3,000 pieces. Uh, yesterday, I finished uh, part of the waterfall. And uh, so I hope to at least get the other part of the waterfall complete before I, um, before Thursday. Um, also, I, as I said, I have embalmed your builds. You can go to Twitter or threads, mdadmanwalking or Mrs. Dadman Walking 55 to find out when those times will be. My morning musings is Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m., Sunday at 1 p.m. Puzzle editions are on Wednesday and the weekend. Um, I am going to do a poll to see if you would like more puzzles or less puzzles. Um, so uh, we will put that, maybe I'll put that out on Twitter today. Um, also, I have a P.O. Box address. You can check out my info pages on my YouTube and Twitch to find out what that is. If you'd like to send us something, that would be fantastic. I have a Kofi, Mrs. Dead Man Walking 55, and a throne, Mrs. Dead Man Walking 55. You can donate money to me or you can do, uh, give me a gift. I would appreciate any of it. Um, I'm trying to make this uh, self-sustainable. And when you buy me gifts, uh, a lot of times it, it gives me stuff that I can do. Uh, even though I have a lot of stuff, uh, I appreciate every single one. And these are all the gifts I have gotten so far and have done gift builds on. Um, three peeing bears, which we did the uh, men's urinal uh, bathroom uh, scenario. We have Stonehenge, Elizabeth Tower, Starry Night, and two Destiny Ghost Shells. I th thank everyone who uh, gifted me these. And um, it is greatly appreciated. I have my live streams and VODs on YouTube and Twitch. YouTube at Mrs. Walking 55 Twitch, Mrs. Deadman Walking. No punctuation, no numbers. On Twix, you can find my scheduling information. I try to post uh, reminders of the streams I have um, scheduled at mdadmanwalking55. I thank you all so much for being here. We have, oh, let's got to close the poll. We have to close the poll, everybody. With 19 votes, I'm going to end the poll in 5, 4, 
three, two, one. The poll is ended. And let me check everything out here. I have the Loch Ness has won. Thank you so much for that. Yeti in second, Unicorn in third, and Jackalope in fourth for all 19 votes. Thank you so much for participating in that poll. We have um it's past two hours, Dad Man. We have kept it past two hours. Yes, we have that's it. Game over. Bye, y'all. Eyes freaking up, Guardians. Yeah, Destiny 2 has some new stuff today that we're going to have fun playing with. Take care, every human. Going to say bye now. Remember to hit like button and subscribe and get notifications. And De um, Monsters is more puzzles. Uh, yes, I don't do my schedules on threads yet. I haven't figured it out. Yes, Nessie is the winner. Take that unicorn. So on that note, I would like to say to you all, I will see you next time tomorrow at 10 a.m. if I don't do an impromptu thread. So remember to be kind, to show love, and remember that you're not promised tomorrow. So go to bed each night with no regrets. And most of all, I wish you all peace. Have a great, great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at uh, in your neck of the woods. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.